Life Drawing by Alexander Rishkin Part 4 We can continue with drawing the head. There is a rule when drawing a head in a full-figure artwork. The drawing style of the portrait has to be the same as the style of the figure. That is why we will be concentrating on big masses of the head rather than going into small details of facial features. We see the model's head from below, and at this angle, the base of the nose appears a bit higher than the bottom line of the ears. Because the top line of the ears coincides with the eyebrow line from this angle, the eyebrows will be slightly higher than the ears. The central line of the face helps to portray it as symmetrical. And before going into facial features, we draw the big mass of the head by shading its side plane in the same manner as we did for the torso. Before drawing the nose, we need to mark the cross-section of its bridge and its planes below the eyebrows. These big shapes are more important than the eye itself. We shade planes below the eyebrows and the bottom plane of the nose, and we will come back to eyes later. Now we can mark the location of the mouth. According to classical proportions, the bottom edge of the lower lip divides the distance between the base of the nose and the chin in half. Once again, we are more interested in the shadow plane beneath the lower lip than in outlines of the mouth. Side planes of the head are also important landmarks in head drawing. Small details are still less important than big shapes. The forehead can also be described by geometrical planes. The hairstyle repeats the shape of the head, adding some volume around the skull. Every time you draw a hairstyle, mark the hairline. This is an important landmark of the face. Because it is seen from below, this line curves upward, the same as the line of eyebrows. When it comes to tonal rendering, borders between protruding planes, like on the chin and on the nose, are rendered with stronger contrast to emphasize their shapes. The same goes for the borders of the cheeks' planes. In next video session, we will continue this drawing, but I hope you see the importance of working from big masses to small details.